Hey guys, Kevin here with yet another video showing off some new acquisitions to my collection. Now, very often I'll do an unboxing video and I don't know what's coming. Happens. Did some comic openings, didn't know what comics were going to be in there. I've opened up boxes that I got off to the side here because if you put pretty stuff all over the box, I'll keep it. So I get boxes in the mail because I, yet again, for the third year in a row, won the At Odds with Wrestling at Odds Mania contest, guest of WrestleMania. I had more correct guesses than anyone else, so I won a prize package yet again. Very excited about it. Got it home, opened it up. Thought too late. I should have recorded it. Should have waited and recorded all of this so everyone could see my reaction. Didn't. It's my bad. But I still want to show it off to you because it's very cool. It's now in my collection. I'm excited for it. So let's see what I got sent by my buddy Joe for winning at odds. Now, first of all, after this happened, Joe tells me that he's having a yard sale, posted on social media, and I see something in there. I thought, you know, I kind of want that, but I'm not going to make the trip. It's a long drive. Dude's nice enough, sends it to me too. You want one thing in my yard sale? What's that? Dollar I'm not making today? They may not make at all? Big deal. Would have gone charity anyways. Added to my wrestling book collection, because yes, I got that collection going too. Slobberknocker by Jim Ross. Very excited about this. Can't wait to see what I learned, what I didn't know already. Might be a signature in here. I mean, I'm sure there's many. I'm sure he did tons of autograph signings for this. But it's not mine, and I will cherish it, and I will enjoy it. And I don't know when I will get to reading it, because God knows when I'm going to get to reading so much stuff. All right, speaking of God knows, not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this yet. Super cool I have it. Super exciting. Not quite sure. I might give it to my kid to, like, bang around, play with. I might set it up myself, maybe set it up at my work desk. I got all sorts of ridiculous stuff. But considering it's got wheels and tours around the world, I kind of want to make some jokes, too. AJ Styles Monster Truck. What else? What else would it possibly be for the AJ Styles Monster Truck? I think its whole mission is to beat up John Cena. Uh, I think it's as tall as almost. And I'm not quite sure where it's going yet. But I'm going to have fun with it. Speaking of fun. I talk about my child all the time. And I talk to Joe's friend of mine. Talk to him about it too. So when I saw a shirt in here wouldn't fit me on my best day, but it'll fit my kid. Hollow Wicked, go to Sleepy Hollow. Hollow Wicked, very popular wrestler. Very good wrestler. One I've seen live a few times. And my gosh, this shirt is just beautiful. So cool looking. So now that I've shown it, he can go in his closet so he can pick it out anytime he wants. Because previously, I had all this, like, set to the side. So I would remember to do this video. Super cool. All right. Joe, for his... Well, here. I put these inside of it. I got I got something to show here in a minute. He, I've gotten stuff before. Always throws cool stickers in. And then I have to save the stickers. So I got... This is fantastic. So I got a nice little sticker collection. And I put it in... If there's a book, uh, magazine, something like that, I put it in there with it. So I always remember where I got it from. But, as part of Joe's podcast and his Patreon, he's going through previews 30 years after the date. Go ahead to longboxheroes.com, Longbox Heroes on Patreon, sign up, check out their Patreon, go through it. I enjoy listening to it as well. I actually got, I want to go through it again from the beginning because now he's got me collecting previews too. So, Joe was nice enough to send me some. Uh, I'm sure they're taking up a ton of space in his house. I'm sure they're driving him insane. I love these things. I absolutely love flipping through, finding out what's coming out, remembering when I was shopping, going through this stuff, seeing ridiculous things. There's a lot of these that I then look for. I'm like, I never heard of this before. Did it actually come out? What's going on? Who is this person? Like, I love these things for the history, for nostalgia for me, for remembering things. And I know they take up a lot of space. God, I know they do. The, you can see the closet door. I have these in there right now because I can't put them on the shelves. There's, I just have too many. But I love them. I love digging through them. 
So Joe sent me two. I'm very grateful. I'm excited. So this one is from May 1993. We're advertising Image and Valiant and Death May on one side. And X-Men 30th Anniversary on the other. Oh, so excited for these. And then we also have June of 1993 advertising X-Men 2099. And Batman 500. But I mean, this, like, this card's still in here. You know, like, what do I, what do I want to order this month? You know, what do I want to get here? Um, here, let's, let's see. Let's flip to, like, a not well-known company. Tri Triumphant? Ultraverse? Triumphant the Chromian Man. Oh my god, I remember this. Anyone else remember this one? The Chromian Man? Ah. Oh. Jeez, that's fantastic. We got, we got prototype number one from Ultraverse. Vanguard Comics Tales from the Edge. Who knows what happened with there? Buster the Amazing Bear. Like, it's ridiculous stuff and it's awesome. The first issue of Dr. Mirage is coming out. Like, God, they're just so cool. Here, here, as long as we're here, quick. I got one more thing. I got I got the, the big thing to show still. All right, so we got cards in here. We got some Ultraverse cards being advertised here we got some more dark horse stuff in here uh let's see caliber press has dead world coming out bugged out comics has the dog tags coming out um what else we got Continu continuity still around at this point really with bucky O'Hare and crazy man uh dark horse is doing their stuff here or dark horse more dc we got some uh, Dimension X comics. Capes it. Why do I remember this cover? Why do I remember this cover? Oh my god. I mean, clearly I haven't thought of it in like near 30 years, but. 93. Yeah, jeez. But I absolutely. Scary Monsters Magazine number seven. Oh my gosh. I get Scary Monsters Magazine every time it's out now. Heroic Comics, Black Watch, Bleedsman, Super Special, League of Champions. Oh my god. It's just fun. It's so much fun, and I love these things. If anyone's watching, and you got old previews you want to get rid of, DM me. Seriously, I'll take them, I'll cherish them, I'll do, you know, articles about them. Whatever. Speaking of things I will cherish and all, I have to buy an action figure protector now. I need to get a case. If anyone has one, let me know, because I don't need to buy multiple. I just need one. Because my grand prize... There's no C figure. No, I, I had no C figure. It's nice enough. My, my friend got one for me. It's nice enough to do it. But I didn't have one that was signed. Look at that. Look at that. So I got my signed OC figure here. So happy about it. Put up Place of Honor right next to Becky Lynch. No signature there. Just a guy thing for orange, I guess. But, oh, I'm so happy. This is not coming out of the case. Uh, the, the other one I have might now. Like, why not? But I need a defender for this. Absolutely. I have to protect this. So happy and excited for it. So that, you go back up there. Stay safe. <laughs> so thank you so much to Joe and Adam of Ad Ads with Wrestling for running the contest, for me winning it, for always being good friends to me. Thank you to you for watching this. And if you want to know more of my ridiculousness, check out my blog masslibrary.com at masslibrary across social media there's patreon there's podcasts there's all sorts of cool stuff and of course this youtube channel i am everywhere <laughs> but thank you so much if you like comics if you like wrestling if you like geeky stuff retro and all i'm your guy let's talk follow all my stuff i'll see you later